Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this tutorial we're going to go over surface editing with control points. So much like the, the curve tutorial, you can edit surfaces with control points by selecting the surface and pressing F10. That views the control points of the points on command. Uh, F11 turns it off. So you can see here that there's a, a grid of 4x4 four by f uh, four by four grid of UNV control points. <clears throat> if you select one you can do select S S E L U or S E L V that selects all of those in that in that direction and they're all highlighted so they'll move as a as a group if you do S E L U V oh, select the surface and then uh, you can toggle which which U V line you want that might might be good if you have a a really a busy surface with lots of UV points. You can also set these points so if this line uh, is lined up, say if we want to line up another line, uh, we'll do the same uh, select U and then we'll line up this line on the uh, on the Y axis. And you can do that with set points, S E T P T. And we'll just do Y. And you can see that these are all aligned now. So it's a good way of aligning all the points. And you can do uh, X, Y, or Z axes. And if you want to add more, you can do insert control point. Select the surface. And then you can uh, you can see that it'll add more in uh, one direction you can toggle that to go from the U to the V direction and then you can just add those there it'll change your uh, since you're adding more control points it'll add, change the change the surface geometry so if we want to undo that and keep the surface geometry the same but still have more control points we can do uh, insert not And that'll add more, but it'll it won't rearrange the surface. The control points might not be exactly where you want, but the surface will will still be there. So then, uh, just a few basic editing uh, commands for the entire surface. One is smooth. So this smooths the surface out with uh, a smooth factor. So point two just looks like that. Uh, if we do 1.2 looks like that like if you hammered it out on the anvil and then we can also control the, the weight of individual ones so these control points if we wanted to give these top control points uh, a greater weight um, just type in weight and then you can, you can control that per uh, control point so the greater the number the the more impact it has on the surface okay and then if you if you select uh, if you select control points with different weights uh, it'll say that it varies but if you put in one it'll go back to the default one weight so one last one last item is if th this surface gets cut or trimmed this the surface will have still all those editing points all those these control points are kind of off the surface now if we just select the surface and do uh, shrink or shrink trim surface that'll kind of re rebuild the surface and when we press F10 you can see that the control points are kind of more reasonable now only where you need them so that's controlling the surface using control points